G'day everyone, and welcome back to another Assertive Cargo Ships build stream. Hello. That's right. This one's not single player. This one's got a capac. I am also here. Wherever here is. <laughs> yep. Uh, Kapak, you're inside that ship there, aren't you? I can't open this door. Whoa. Get back inside! Ow. <laughs> Did you actually get hurt? Um, I got- I got shot. But did you um, actually get hurt? I think I'm on creative mode though, because I haven't taken any damage. Oh, gee, pro streamer there. Look, I'm trying to juggle a lot of things at once. <laughs> like getting shot! Alright, alright, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Wait, do I have to join a faction or something? Yes, you will. There you go. Now you're good. Now you can move out. So- Are you sure? Yes, you can sh you can move out. You won't get shot. Okay. <sighs> oh, this is quite the flotilla you've assembled. So this flotilla, as you put it, uh, is the collection of current assertive cargo ships that are up to, a, the, up to a readiness that I can put them into the mod. A few of them haven't yet been added to the mod, but will be shortly. Um, the idea of me showing you this was to you, for you to get an idea of what the internals of these ships are looking like, the sort of scale that you need to be aiming for, because you're going to build one today, aren't you? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll attempt to build something. So, shall we start with... Well, we'll start with this blue ship that you started on. Sure. Hmm. So... I'd be hoping you'd build something relatively small like this. It can be either atmospheric or space-bound. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Okay. But um, don't mind which way you go. And the internals should be kind of livable. So, thinking long-haul trucker. Okie dokie. Hey everyone, in both Capax chat and my chat. Hello, all you peeps. Yeah, so you'll need to have bathrooms, you'll need to have beds, you'll need to have uh, somewhere for them to eat, that sort of stuff. Mm, okay. Um, you can either make it for a single crew, or you, like a single man crew, or a multi-person crew. It's up to you. But that should give you a rough idea, and should be capable of looking like it fills a role, and looking like a person could actually exist in there, even if the functional blocks don't actually line up to the things they need to. If it were a survival build. Uh, okay. So, uh, function optional. Yes. Needs to fly, though. Okay. <laughs> needs to fly, needs to shoot. Uh, just fly in space? If it's a spaceship, yeah. Okay. So, then we've got this little froggy one, which is a little bit different. So why uh -huh. don't you head inside? What are these decoys? Yes, they are. Mm. Oh, yeah, I like the funny face on the front. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cute. Oh, I think you'll also like the colour of the inside. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> intriguing colour choice. I feel slightly uncomfortable in here. <laughs> but yeah, you can see there's some basic functionality here in terms of toilet, one bed. It's a very cramped dining table. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to build one from scratch. Why not? Cool. So, do you want to look at any of these other builds before we jump into the other world so you can build up your design? Um... Do you want to look at some of the atmospheric ones? Uh, I'll, I'll do a space one for now. That's probably easier. Well, because I'm going to be working on some atmospheric designs. Oh. Although I suppose I could work on some of the space ones. Yeah, I could do a space one. I did a couple of uh, three atmospheric ones last time. I'll do some more space designs. So that's fine. You want to do a space design? We will jump into the other save and you can do a space design. Sure. Ooh. Which one are you ooing? Uh, this black and red one with the pods. Oh, yeah. 
So that's actually an unmanned ship. Oh. That has some special scripting that allows it to divide into two pieces. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. Uh, Hammerhead, Baldur's Gate is something Capac and I are going to get back to. We've just been not really able to do that the, the last couple of weeks, just given timing. Um, but we will get back to it, because we both do want to keep playing it. Unfortunately, it's creative mode, so we can't get cap act. <laughs> Missed him. Hey. <laughs> Stop that. Alright. Are you happy, cap act? Yeah. Happy pack. Alright. Load game. Yeah, Visa, we haven't done anything yet. We've just been looking at some ships. Yeah. Cap act. Getting cap act up to speed. The railgun mod is installed, it is possible to die in creative mode. Hmm. There's some other mod that allows you to die in creative mode too. I just can't think of it at the top of my head at the moment. Oh wait, hang on, I don't want to do that. That's going to be annoying later. I'm going to offline these and then I'm going to just duplicate it. Mm, I think the game needs a delicious iced tea mod. I think we might also need to close our back door so that dog is quieter and Okay, and then I'll need to create my faction again so you don't get shot up by all the things again. <laughs> all the different yeah. ships again. I don't like getting shot. Yeah, I know. You're a bit precious that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, are you sure you don't like getting shot? Mm, depends on the context. I feel, I feel like you do. Alright, the game should be up for you to join. Uh, well, there is... Just the one. Oh, I got part way through trying to do stuff with this one, didn't I? That's right. I remember now. This was the last of the original batch. So it's another Consti design. <laughs> After I did two of Consti des Consti's designs last time. Alright. I reckon I can keep working on this while Capac builds nearby. Sure. I might need to give him a med bay because knowing Capac he'll get lost otherwise. Oh uh, well, I'll need somewhere to spawn at least. Well, you can just spawn in space and then find the grids, but that's hard work for you. That's harder than if I just do this for you. Hello. Yeah. So, uh, feel free to build around here. Uh, all right. I guess I'll. So, which one are you working on? Uh, the one that's floating up here. Uh -huh. That's the original design, and this is the floating one. So, uh. the this has detachable cargo pods. Ooh, groovy. Um, so I'm just trying to. I think the main thing I was doing was trying to compact down the rear end of this, because the back end was quite bulky. Given it and. It also had large ion thrusters, which I don't want you to use. Uh, okay. The reason I don't want you to use large ion thrusters is the resources contained within them are immense. And it's just a bit too much. So, if you manage to capture something that's got it, 
you're pretty much done. You don't need to worry about any resources after that point. A lot, well, a lot of the time. So, tend to stick with small and just keeping... Sure. Keeping it limited. Right, guess I'll get started. Yeah. So, the Murakas. What am I going to do here? Is that how those are on the bottom one? Hey, Zarakti. <laughs> Sergeant Seuss, I'm not sure I'm going to be starting a Stationers YouTube series anytime soon. Um, but you will likely see more Stationers. What is that? Is that Capac? Huh? Is it what, me? No, no, that's a ship that I've cut a chunk off. I just saw a grid floating off in the distance and I wasn't sure what it was. Uh, but I will be continuing on the Stationeers series at some point and I may have convinced Capac to try it out with me. Isn't that right? I mean, I'll give it a go. I'm not making any guarantees. I mean, I have read um, Kim Stanley Robinson's Mars trilogy, so... Maybe I'll be fine. <laughs> so you basically you're going to be as good as you were at the start of Survival Unlikely. Uh, to start with, I'm going to need some kind of orbital solar collector. Oh, wait, I want mirroring. Mirror. I don't know about that. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Okay. This was the one I was really struggling with design-wise. In fact, Capac may actually prove to be a useful resource in this instance. In terms of insight into what I might be able to do differently to make these things look how I'm, after, how I'm hoping to make them look. Okay. Much as I give him a lot of stick, he actually does often help me out with that stuff. Where to begin? That is the challenge. Do you want to pick your overall design? Did you want to do that sort of stuff? Uh, yeah, I've, I've got some ideas. <laughs> You're welcome, Zarakti. Um, oh yeah, there's a PCU limit on the ships, Capac. Yeah, yeah. But I figured the eyes and the reason I didn't specifically tell Capac a PCU limit is because he wouldn't understand exactly what I mean by that. If I just gave him some size examples, he'd, I mean, he's usually pretty good at following it. I know what a PCU limit is. <laughs> I have no idea what different things are worth in terms of PCU or how to find out. Doors or... and guns are expensive. Well, anyway, I'm just going to try to make something to vaguely the same volume as this one over here and see how it goes. I can adjust it later if I need to. Um, hang on, how about I give you a nice small design to scale off? What? Well, it's fine. Because that one's a bit too big. It'll be fine. Try like, that size. I, I'm just very roughly Go back. going by its dimensions. That's the smallest size. It's a bit dinky. <laughs> but lengthwise, that should be about it. your sort of size. It's all good. Everything's under control. Uh, Thraxis, the reason not Hydro is Hydro's just... Well, actually, I probably could do Hydro, because I think Lucas has fixed the behavior with Hydro. Uh, for Space Ones, Hydro is fine, but for Atmo Ones, it always goes weird with the autopilot. I do not know what to do with these thruster pods. Such an unusual shape out here that I don't know how I'm going to bring it in. Yeah, I could leave that.
<sighs> How much volume do I want? I've got plenty of cargo up front, so I don't need to add more cargo. I really just need... I've got... <laughs> more Viking ships. <laughs> um, <laughs> no Viking ships, Kavak. I'll, I'll try to restrain my, my Viking urges. And potentially restrain your pixel art urges too. I know, I know how spaceships work. <laughs> but you also get pixel art urges, so I'm just, you know, making sure you know what we're going for here. I know what the, um... Oh, that's why I did that. I'm going to get rid of these. You know what the brief was? Yes, the brief. That was the word you were looking for, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. So now we got up, down, left, right. Do not have any reverse. Hmm. Uh, DE, there is a large scale Capactron that someone submitted. It won't be getting included in the mod, but will be getting shown off at some point. In fact, maybe today is the day that Capac and I will go through the ones that are not going to be included, but we'll show them off anyway. Non-believer, that is not an option. You cannot ignore me. Capac cannot. He is right beside me. I will make sure I am paid attention to. Well, good luck with that. You're underestimating my abilities. <laughs> You're underestimating my... <laughs> <laughs> my uh, desire to be paid attention to. Splitsy's desire for attention versus Capac's ability to ignore everything. <laughs> yeah. It's the, ba it's the ultimate battle. <laughs> ah. Uh. Whoa. What the? What the? Help. What did you just do? I did... <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Why did your grid just eject itself out of the asteroid? I don't know, but it's flying away. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I just I placed a block in the wrong place and I deleted it, and then everything just flew away. Like I didn't even Do delete you know, a wrong block or anything. Do you have um, mirror mode on? Mirror. Because I wonder if you deleted a block, the only block that was holding it in place. But it was attached to the asteroid. Yeah, I'm wondering if you deleted the only block that was holding it to the asteroid. Uh. <laughs> uh, Capex Mayhem begins. Love it. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look right. Uh. How is that moving? Yeah, that shouldn't be moving. That should not be moving. Man, I cannot... <laughs> I cannot be held responsible for this. <laughs> you, you can. I don't know whether you should, but you can. We need CSI there we go. space engineers in here to investigate. How's that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go back. Uh, these are meant to be cargo ships, though, right? That's correct. Probably want some containers. Oh, man. Uh, no, this is not Capac's new PC. This is still Capac's old PC on life support with the power supply of his upcoming PC. Yes. Uh, the new PC is definitely on the way. I've got a, uh, a bunch of bits in the other room that are just waiting for some more bits. And he's desperate to unbox them, but hasn't yet. Yep, we're going to do some sweet unboxing. We're going to do some sweet live, fact, like, IRL video. Well, don't hype it up too much. We haven't figured out what we're doing yet. <laughs> That's a good point. 
But we are gonna, like, we've talked about it, we are gonna do it. I assume. I assume we'll actually get around to figuring out how to use my cameras and whatnot to do what we need to do. Oh, and thank you again, Raquel, for all those subs. Uh oh, that's not right. <laughs> yes, the asteroid is defective. There's Very. something wrong with this asteroid. <laughs> Oh boy. I don't know how you managed to do it, Kavak. I just don't know. But it is hilarious that Me you neither. managed to do this. <laughs> even, in, even in a scenario where you shouldn't be able to break things like this, you still manage to. Kavak breaks the universe. Uh, want that one? I want to get one. some of those. No, I don't want that one. Yeah. Get back and remove the block. <laughs> A special special person that you can make removing a block into a um, death defying act what are we gonna do with this I feel like I had a plan for a bit and then I've gone off track Hey, 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 it's not poor Capac. None of this. I agree. See? Told you. And no, what? I do not have anything threatening Capac to ensure that he says the right things. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, unsightly holes. I wonder when we'll first run into your ship in Survival Unlikely. Maybe it'll run into us. Because <laughs> the Assertive Cargo Ships mod's already active in it. So as soon as I add it, it should have the chance of showing up. Gonna be hard to see it coming as it phases through the voxels. <laughs> uh, D, you know what he's like too well. I think there was an episode of The Next Generation where that happened. approach that I had for the motorbike when I got stuck with the armor shapes here because I'm a bit stuck. Just place stuff down until it works. Yeah, there probably won't be a repeat of Capac drones, but it was hilarious when it happened. Both in Wrong Way Down and in Survival Unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> 
first time you see an entire <laughs> shipyard tumbling at you. Alright, come back. Time to come and annoy you. What? I'm gonna come and inspect. Nowhere near completion yet. I know. Just having a look. Seeing what you're up to. Yeah! Get out of the way. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ladders. Yeah. Fancy. Where'd my ship go? Oh. <laughs> Kapak. Accidental destroyer of worlds. This is true. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a long-running joke between Capac and I from long before we ever started doing anything on YouTube. Capac has been the accidental destroyer of worlds. What the? Uh. Um. What? Do you do this? Do I do what? This ladder? What ladder? The, the, the space ladder. <laughs> no. I'm not even building in blue. You placed that. How, how did it get there? <laughs> you placed it. How? In sp it's like that. Just, I, I placed it floating there in space. Yeah, like that. Hmm. I don't remember doing that. You probably misclicked and just didn't quite hit on target. Do you know what's going to be the really interesting thing that happens during this stream? When Capax says he's finished and then I go and do to his build what I've done to everyone else's builds. Well, my build will be perfect. <laughs> it will need no adjustments. <laughs> Because I think I'm going to find that a lot of fun. Uh, oops. Especially if I can manage to keep him on stream the whole time while I do it. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Kabak, you should do an updated bit of bill. Bit of bill? Bit of pill. Blueprint. As I should do an updated... Um, yeah. Chompa. I've got a lot of things I've been meaning to put up on the workshop. Yeah, I need to do the updated Chompa blueprint. Uh... I don't know that I've gotten up to yours, Etopsahik, yet. I think it's in the second batch. And I am sadly still working on the first batch of ships that I um, got sent. <laughs> Bit of pill can't be blueprinted because it's always in pieces. <laughs> well, I mean, there may be a couple of versions of the bitter pill coming. Uh, you have unfortunately had a lot of repair work to do on that thing. Which I didn't do a lot to help you with. Yeah, it's not, not the luckiest of my vehicles. This is true. This is very true. Uh, yes, accepting blueprints. No, no small grids. Yeah. I believe your chat and Mackle are trying to make you go disco, Capac. Just 
I'm, I'm building the structure first, and then we do the paint. Oh boy. Uh, oh yeah, Kabak. When are we gonna play with that um, mod that allows people on Twitch to mess with our game? Uh, I don't know. They they keen just re re. Yeah, that's what reminded me about it. Um, because I was thinking we could do like a competitive thing where the community can help you to give you a fighting chance. Uh. Slash something a something completely asymmetrical so that we don't really know who's actually in the better position to begin with anyway sure like i'm thinking like you racing from one place to another in survival and then me racing from a different point to the same point but having to do different stuff on the way there oh yeah could work That doesn't work. Hmm. 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 Uh, thinking is hard. I guess so. Yeah, so the <laughs> top six said, I don't think even if all the community helping him and harming you would really even it out too much. Which which is why I think an asymmetrical competition would make it more fun because it, it really wouldn't matter which one of us won because the competition's not fair to begin with. Um... <laughs> Many people could not fix pilot error. <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, that could work. Now I just got to think of what what race or what contest we could have. Because it'd have to be survival for it to be fun. And, you know, have the challenge. But how to make that work? I'm still not uh, sure yet. I'd have to check what options that the integration thing has. Yeah, we'll have to play around with it and have a look. But that's something we are seriously considering. Uh, there's not a great deal you can do with channel points. I don't really think Twitch really thought it through. Do you, Kamek? I feel like the channel points were something that they came up with and um, didn't really have a good they're, idea of how to use they're good for some very specific things like if you're doing like a an ask me anything type thing oh yeah that's true because then you can highlight your question yeah and it like it means that you can sort of spread out the questions between everyone in a kind of fair way oh yeah that's a good point that is a very good point i hadn't thought of that DE showing off how awesome his highlight is. <laughs> no, Jazz uh, Kapak has not died yet. He's in creative mode, so he's doing his best, but he hasn't yet succeeded to di in dying. I mean... <laughs> he succeeded in making a an asteroid and the grid attached to it non-corporeal. Which is, you know, a Kapak level achievement. I don't think I can get any big guns underneath here. That's a pity. Wonder if we go to you from there. And turn off. Oh, wait, no. 
we'll leave that there. Goodbye. It is looking a little Space Invader Z at the moment, but I'll, I'll fix oh that dear, up. What have you done? Capo was a supervillain, everyone would think he was a superhero because all of his evil plans are backfire <laughs> and somehow end up saving people. Look, don't think I haven't thought about that. <laughs> uh, and now I'm just thinking of what you would be like if I was a supervillain because you'd be my incompetent minion. Incompetent? What? <laughs> The hilariously incompetent minion that is actually a good guy because he, again, foils the boss's plans, but all unintentionally. Mm. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, as DE just answered, Captain Perseus, DE and Nab are in our Seven Days to Die series over on the Zebra Monkeys channel. Where have I lost my ship? Oh, there. Yeah, Avenger Key, I am very, I very much picture Pinky in the brain. It is probably the most accurate analogy for the two of us. Do you disagree, Kavak? Um, I don't... <laughs> Well, it's hard to argue, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I don't think there's quite that uh, wider discrepancy between the two of us. What do you mean? Uh, well, as in, no, you're not stupid, but neither is Pinky. I know what you mean. No. I wasn't meaning it as an insult. I was just meaning in terms of the way we are. Yeah, I haven't watched that in a long time. Uh, what? Try. Oops. Yep. Nuff. Oh, dang it. Stupid new keyboard. Yeah, that works. Hey, climb. Uh, you can, you can, I guess you can learn something from Capac. What? <laughs> Actually, Capac Kap can, Capac can build. I, I know I give him a lot of grief, but he can, he can genuinely build some cool stuff. Um, most of our stuff in Light Echoes I did build, but that's... Partially because it was before Capac knew how to play Space Engineers. Am I wrong? Um. Well, I mean. Like, you didn't really know how stuff worked together. You hadn't played enough around with the blocks to have a good concept of how to use them. Whoops, I almost spilt my bottle of water on my keyboard. Um, that sort of stuff is what I mean by that. Yeah. Whereas now you've got a lot more comfort because you've used them enough to have a feel of where they can be used and how they can work and all that sort of stuff. But then again, like a lot of our builds for like Light Echoes and stuff were collaborative builds as well. True. But I, I think the 394, the big mothership, although you built some of the internals, I would have spent about 10 or 15 times as long on it. That is true. <laughs> and... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, at the time, your computer was the only one that could load the whole thing at once, so <laughs> that, that is, didn't help. <laughs> that's true. That is very true. Um, I think I built the RX-394, which I can give... Uh, 394. Which is this giant mothership which is about 350 meters long 
Um, I think I built it over the course of a few months. I'd started building it at the beginning of season one, hadn't I? I think I'd started designing the internal hangar at that stage. Uh, well, we... And went through a few revisions before the final version it, that was actually in the show. It would have been when we were doing, like, episode three or something, we would have started it. Yeah, that's true. Because it wasn't until that far in that we knew that we were going to need it. And yeah, so I built it over the course of about eight weeks. Uh, isn't it something like 80,000? The PCU on the gutted 394. Uh, okay, I'm actually fairly happy with this from the outside now. My main, my main thing that I didn't really like about this design was that one, it had the large thrusters and as a result of the large thrusters, these, this back end got a bit chunky. I really liked the front end. So by cutting that away, it's now become quite a sleek little cargo ship. Because Consti's uh, atmospheric designs were really sleek as well. <laughs> XSFX is uh, giving you a useful insight, but I don't know if you're ready to take advantage of it yet. Uh... Gyro. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I haven't what... built the control stuff yet. Okay. I, the basic control stuff is definitely on the cards. Now, what have we got in here? So, yeah. I really like the feel in this place. Oh. I think that's because of the yellow of these lights. Yeah. So we've got two beds, bathroom, ready room, and controls up there. So I might be able to put some sort of thing down the, in this space that I created at the back. And just to devalue this a little bit. Yeah. What was that? Just some uranium. <laughs> Nothing to worry about then. Nope. Don't worry your head over it. It is not important. Okay. It really does. The yellow yellowing on the lights is something I am really, really liking at the moment. I've been doing it to more and more of my builds. Um, actually, where's the entry? Oh, okay. Looks like you enter from back here. Like I left this hole back here. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to just whack a gravity on this because it's driving me nuts. Sure. Is there a door on the side? There's a bed wall. And another bed wall. Nope, no doors. Uh, I'll sort out the guns soon. I, yeah, I don't know if I've taken out uh, the gyros. Yep, no gyros. Okay. I think we've got a perfect spot for the gyros right on top of the batteries. tempted to put a grav gen in this thing. I think I will. So 
I don't mind spaceships having grav gens and spaceships having reactors. Um, I just figured since I'd shrunk this thing down a lot and spent so much time fiddling with reducing its expense, I should keep going when I get rid of the reactors. Uh, 20... Where's the other... Oh, it's probably coming from the other ship. Wait. Oh, the guppy has a... Oh! What the... What is that? What is what? Oh, there's a sign for that ship that used to be here, but is no longer. <laughs> yeah. I thought else. you'd put some taunting LCD here for me to find. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, surely not. Now, because you've already called out that it's a thing. Uh, yeah, maybe I could use... Maybe I could move the beds. Because the beds are down. Although it kind of makes sense to have them in the middle here. No, I'll leave them there. It could be interesting trying to get something in those side bits, but I, I'm not sure... It'll feel right. Next to the door. Yeah. Kitchen and living area is what I've got to fit in here. Uh, I need to also just confirm, is that a full block above me? No. So I have to keep those blocks as they are. Do about this armor shape here. It looks a bit weird. Um, I have no idea. Next to the ready room. Oh, that's a toilet. Where even are you? Are you over there? Me? No, oh, you're up there. Where are you? I've become somewhat disoriented. <laughs> oh, I also moved already... the ships. So what, talk me through what you're doing here, Kamak. Um, yeah, so I've got like an engineering hull down here that's got the thrusters and the cargo containers. Uh-huh. And then up the top we've got the living quarters and the control section. Do you think you've gone a bit bigger than is needed? Maybe. But I've got a plan for that. Like, I, I think you could probably do with just the front section. Oh, that's no fun. Also, that's the section that I haven't even built. Okay, the rear section. Like, the size of the rear section is big enough that you could probably design to fit around eight people in there. Mm. Just, you know, think about it. Actually, I've got an idea. I know exactly what I shall do. Oh yeah, I suppose if da if Kavak does put a disco on there, it needs to have a fairly large dance floor. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't fall off when I removed it. Kitchen and living area, right at the entryway.
Maybe I will have to move that grav gen. So if I do this, I think this is going to look a bit better. Being balanced, and then I can put. I suppose I could put the grav gen on top of that conveyor. Put some other functional block in there, and then use these six blocks here for the kitchen and living stuff. the kitchen. I suppose I could get rid of two of these batteries to be honest. In fact maybe that's the way to do this. If I get rid of those two batteries on one side it'll give me more space then I can put a battery there which separates whoops, separates these two segments a bit more and I can put the grav gen in here then. Like so. Yeah that'll work. <laughs> Kapak, you're creating a space wasp. <laughs> um, that wasn't what I was thinking, but it is sort of looking a bit like that. Uh, if I was going to make a space wasp, I would have made it in yellow. There is also already a ship called the Wasp. There is? Yeah, in the pack. Uh huh. No, I won't do that way. I feel like I've done that way too many times. Maybe I'll do that and... Yeah, maybe for this particular one, I won't have any sort of table or I suppose I could put the table to my right. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for somewhere to put LCD. No. What is the combined block? Text panel. Ugh, that's so annoying. Why would they put the text panel as the main one? It really should be LCD so that when you search you can get the combined different um, picture one. There we go. Uh, change colors. Uh -huh. Background. We kind of want to go a bit of a grayish green I think. Why isn't that changing? Oh, uh, that doesn't quite work. Consider. <laughs> Immoral Titan, you might be right. Oh, that took a while to update. Uh, I think it might update more quickly if I switch it to that one. Uh, let's try and get the colors what I want, which will be more of a. Yellow on grey. Just something that feels like it fits in better with this environment. Yeah, that doesn't stick out quite so much as the blue did. The blue was a bit much. 
Yeah, fair point, New Topsec. <laughs> they did it for the same reason that they put the new cockpit under the chair. That, yeah. I'll be back in just a second. I'm going to close the back door because I can hear a dog barking and I don't know how much it's carrying through on my mic. Oh, and please do, guys can't hear the dog, because I can. Um, unfortunately, we have neighbours who never walk their dogs, so the dog decides to bark a lot. No, this, this one's not going to have any warhead sensor tripping things for Capac. Some of the other ones do. <laughs> Can't do it on all of them. They need to start getting suspicious. I just, I just won't go for them anymore if they'll just explode in my face. Exactly. That's why you've got to you've got to be smart about this stuff. You've got to make sure that Capac thinks he has a chance of getting what he's going for. Yeah, it's all about the Pavlovas. Uh, no, it's more about um, Skinner than Pavlovas. <laughs> It's not cool. <laughs> what? Taking all the fun out of my joke about dessert. <laughs> Why? Because I knew what you were talking about. You derailed my joke <laughs> with facts. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Rothic, I'm not sure I'm how I feel about that as well, that you have to vent the living area. I suppose what I could do is this, and put an airlock down there, which will make it feel a bit more sensible, I guess. It also kind of closes off this area nicely, I think, which will give me an excuse for doing that. Although, now I realise I've done that, I needed somewhere to put lights, and I have just gotten rid of the one spot I had. Um. Okay. That's alright, I can do something clever, maybe. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, I, there's floor lights down here, and then there's some ceiling lights. Uh, you could make an airlock to the side with the thin interior lights and door going to the right. Uh, I, the trouble is, this is, from the outside, the only spot I can put the external door. There's nowhere else I can actually put it. Um, it was suggested earlier that I try and fit it in here, but I think I'd have I'd be cutting through underneath at best, which could work, but it's a bit. It feels like this is a more logical access point. Well, that's a good point, Eisen. Ah! Passage block would f make this work. 
If I put some passage blocks in the back here. Uh, oh dear. Oh. Oh. There's a grab gen. Well. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh-huh. Not what I was expecting. block space up there which means I still need to do the light how I had it before yeah the floating tile if you could figure out a way to trap it would be kind of interesting Dilatante, I'm not thinking of putting vents in, largely just because I'm happy to have these as fake Atmo ships. Yeah, this kind of works now. And since I put that extra battery up there, I could get rid of those. And then I got a space for a table. If I wanted, or I can do something different over this side. Hey, Matcha. A welder trap. There's not really room for a welder trap. Um, this, this ship's not big enough for that. Capek, you recently almost fell for a welder trap, didn't you? Uh, I can't remember when that was. There was one in the wrong way down that zapped me. Oh, yeah, it did zap you. I've watched you. <laughs> That's right. You didn't quite die, but it did zap you for a minute. Hmm. What could I do here? Just contemplating how, if there's a way I could have something that does the effect, that effectively does the same as that block, but I think it's, because then I can put the doorway over here and you kind of enter, although then you're going to be snaking around and that's just weird too. That doesn't work. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, and these are 100% vanilla builds. Deliberately. Because I don't want people to have to- I don't want- Yeah. With the deco blocks you don't really need more. Yeah, Eisen, I think you're right. I think something like this is probably the way to go. Just something simple. Nothing too fancy. Hmm. 
Then up the radius of that. That's true, D. The the new large grid cockpit is an interesting desk. Yeah. This one. It'd be it. I just find I do find the chair sometimes feels a bit too bulky. <laughs> yeah, Wilson, I. Um. Nothing too fancy is probably one of the biggest lies I tell myself. Cool. I think I'm happy with this. Uh, I do, however, feel like that bathroom is scary dark. What? Scary bathroom? Yeah. That's the last thing you want on a spaceship. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's, that's, I know it's not got the same moodiness about the way you move through, but I just always feel weird when you walk into a bar bathroom and it's pitch dark. <laughs> now, turrets, can a turret be fitted in somewhere in here? Oh, and, uh, Show on HUD. Let's see which way height is. Okay. Height can go to there. Depth. Okay. And width. Oops. This actually ended up being in a perfect spot for me to tell whether I'd extended the grab range far enough. Which was weirdly convenient. <laughs> Just hang a flashlight outside the bathroom door. Yes. A valid option. I guess. If a somewhat inconvenient one. Can you imagine trying to pee while holding a flashlight? Uh, DJ Polly D. Uh, hmm. uh, I don't have a straight answer for how often I stream because it's inconsistent and wildly variable. It is based around my shift pattern at my day job and other things happening around my house as to whether there's going to be noise and things like that. And typically of late, it's just been when I have a chance, I stream. I might need to do something here that I don't want to do if I want to get a gun in here. This may just have no internal defenses but you can yeah pretty much i stream when i can you there are two ways to get notifications about when i'm streaming you can either turn your notifications on on twitch or if you're on the discord server uh you can join the streaming pinging group because i send a ping to the people who want to get pinged for streams whenever we go live. Kabak does it sometimes when he remembers to. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, how are we looking? 3380. Nice. I don't really have anywhere to put a gun because I can't put it up there. What? An Although, animal candle? Actually. What, like out of tallow? You're making tallow candles. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Why, what, what are you talking about tallow for? Um. I am XFX. 
XFX. XSFX. Craft an animal candle ASAP. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've the whole YouTube full time thing is something I've not specifically contemplated, to be honest. Have you, Capac? I'm not sure I've thought about it, but not really all that close enough to it to worry about just yet. <laughs> Uh, I need a whole bunch of these things. A whole bunch of these things. Now I can put them in. The evil Steves are a thing that allows you to do things that Twitch wants you to do for some reason. Uh, there's no room up here, dear, because that's where the slope is, and I feel like that slope's important for the feel of this space in here. So, just be the one turret. Uh, probably not going to be streaming tomorrow. RSR RS Riguba. Uh, unless Capac and I get through the stuff that we need to get done tomorrow early, which is far from guaranteed. But there's stuff that I need to get done. Like, I need to get um, Survival Unlikely edited because of when I'm working later this week. Stuff like that, that will need to get finished. You get Evil Steve's by just being there, pretty much. Yeah, like by chatting in the chat and watching the stream. See you, day. Catch you later. Um, cool. I'm excited. How's Kappa coming along? Yeah, getting there. Oh. That is not what I was expecting. Aha. Uh -huh. Success. <laughs> that is your goal every day, isn't it? <laughs> How can I... Can I actually surprise Splitzy? <laughs> Have you thought of a name for your Tetris ship? As Dilettante put it. Not yet. Um. You just got a face palm, Capac. <laughs> okay, so it can snake its way out of unexpected situations. Yep. Well, sure. Sure, sure. I am fascinated by the way your brain works sometimes. Did you just build a massive internal wall then? Huh? I just filled this hole in the wall, yes. Oh, was there a hole there? Oh, that hole. I thought you were putting windows in there. Um, yeah, windows are a liability. Thanks, Woodlaw. Glad you could make it. Uh... <laughs> oh, you could do it. You you could do a whole series of Tetris themed builds. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, gyro, battery. The arch nemesis of the great spiders, the snakes. 
Capex S ship. Yeah. I think this could be considered an easy one if I don't add any more guns. Yeah. I will leave this and make it another easy ship to add more variety at that end. Huh? Capax ah, is very is. much headed for medium or hard mode, I think. What? I discovered secret excavators. Yeah, there's a private sale that just spawned. Oh. So apparently when I created this world, I stupidly left economy on. So all of the economy ships and things spawn in while doing creative builds, which is kind of weird. Uh, what else do I need for my ship? And the thing to trick Capac. No tricks. Turn that off. Oh, does it have any specific requirements for like antennas and things? For a ship of your size, yes. It must have an antenna. Uh, antenna. And we will go. Oh, yeah, it's just easy. Broadcast radius. Oops, I don't need that. Maybe. For space, I tend to like it out a bit further, but we'll go to that. Uh, Tetris block ships that, <laughs> when you merge all the blocks together, they explode. Huh. I have often wondered to, if I could come up with a way to um, build a combination lock in Space Engineers. So you could probably do something like that to make a combined ship and once all the pieces do come together they explode some sort of timer trigger set up with there's a sequence that has to be completed for them all to be there for the warheads to finally trigger and blow that wouldn't be too hard I imagine Did this grid have a name or did it lose its name when I was doing things with it? It lost its name when I was doing things with it. Uh, I think it's the Muracos? So, Kabak, not to make you feel bad. Yes! Uh, I've pretty much finished this, and oh. that is legit not to make you feel bad because uh, I didn't build the whole, whole ship. I'm just doing completion of a design. That is fine. Thanks, DJ Polity. Uh, blam. We have another ship. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that one's got the door on it. Matthew, you'd probably want to join ships together because they looked like they could and someone would be curious what happens, why, why they were set up that way. Alright, Kabak, can I help? Um... I'm just doing the in interior now. Okay. It's pretty uh, much done. I suppose I could try and come up with a ship while he's doing this. Maybe I could... Oh. I wonder if I could upscale the guppy a bit. I 
Uh, Evan Kapak has already stated outright that he wants nothing to do with Survival Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can totally respect. Uh, much as it may not seem like it sometimes, I do like having him as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, um, I think... I think I'll, uh... Yeah, I think I think I'll just be keeping that one single player. I do like having a single player series that I'm running rather than everything being multiplayer. Yeah, Oliver, I think that's kind of a uh, few people's opinions on that is that they they wouldn't want necessarily to play the horrible slow mode that I'm playing but watching it because it's edited down is a bit of fun uh matcha I've I am still contemplating the occasional guest episode but I'm not sure how to integrate that as yet um if it'll be if it's done it'll be very clear that Capac's only there for a short period There is there there are some ideas I've got for short series like the multiplayer server one that I hope to do later this year um, that I would like to have Capac along with the, along for the ride with four two and uh, I don't know that I can do anything to the guppy I'm staring at it going the only thing I can think of is extending it and I think that'll ruin the shape. Ah, interesting thought. Yes, I can see how this could work. Let's get rid of all this part. So... If I clear that bit out, and then... I'll probably have to pop these off too. <laughs> Extend the guppy to make the flounder. So what I'm thinking is, by stripping off that top part, after Eisen said do some, like flip it and extend this bit, what I'm thinking is, if I extend up this shape and bulk out the tail here, I can probably put a third cargo container in and have this top it be a bit bulky and actually have some interior space in there. See if I can see if it works with just the. Uh, I don't know why I've got that block on my hopper. If I just continue the shape as it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Capac and I are in the same room right now, so I can just literally look across at his computer. This is true. This is. Uh, we have had some issues with our plans of ways to get multi-POV up on one computer so that we can do the picture-in-picture -picture like I do with Survival Unlikely uh, that I have not yet figured a workaround for. 
So, if I ever do, then we'll have a uh, little picture-in-picture picture for these sorts of streams. Uh, Evan, I've never played with the re-entry burn-up mods in any long series, in any long save, even. So, nope, I have not experimented with any heat shields because there's been no reason for me to. It does look a bit like a... It looks like those weird cartoons of a 747 turned into an A380. Uh, what? <laughs> like those weird cartoon chunky plane things that it's like... They've, someone's just... All those photoshops where someone's added like a ton of extra bits of things across the top. Okay. Like uh, extra floors. I don't know. That's just what I'm feeling looking at this thing. Do. <sighs> super guppy. Yeah, super guppy. <laughs> uh, I think I'll need to do for this bit. Ah, uh, yes, a superior guppy. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Capac. Do you feel like you've achieved something because that was said? This sounds like a great plan. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, is that a good place for that to... Ah, it's perfect. Ah, dang it. One day, one day I will become accustomed to this new keyboard. Oh, I need to put an actual grav gen on instead of my placeholder. Uh, well, Snide, these, if we get them in, once I get them into the set of cargo ships mod, yes, they will be part of Survival Unlikely. Uh, Jiren, I've got one of the... What's the actual name on it? Oh. It actually doesn't... How did they make... an entire keyboard without any branding on it? With basically no branding on it. Interesting. Uh, it's the Microsoft Surface Natural Keyboard. Because I quite like the split keys. Uh, it is much more comfortable on my wrists. And makes me happy. And I've had one for years now. Oh, okay. Maybe I could put some of these. The stuff on YouTube is offline edited and never streamed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't wait for Capac to get shot down by his ship either. <laughs> Rude. What? Everybody taking pleasure in my death. Well, yeah. Uh, how does that go? It's... I got this around the right way. <laughs> You're right, Elmia. <laughs> Capmax deaths are hilarious. <laughs> and he doesn't even bother denying it because he knows it's true. Yeah, it's kind of true. Okay, we're going to lose the lights for now. It's looking like a mint lolly.
Ah ouais. This would make more sense. Give them a bit of a different shape. Capac capacking splitsy is more funny. <laughs> I mean, the last time it happened, I didn't even really get angry at him. I just kind of cracked up laughing because it was too funny. <laughs> Which I think Capac oh, yeah. was more surprised at than anything else. <laughs> it's possible. Uh... You were more surprised by me taking it with <laughs> a laugh than you were by the thing actually happening. Alright, I'm gonna check on Capac's build before I continue this. I think I'm pretty much done. I feel like it needs a paint job. Well, yeah, it's, it's all in blue at the moment. I feel like structurally it's pretty much done, unless you can spot something I've forgotten somewhere. Alright, uh, I'm just going to disconnect it from the mounting point. Alright. I will take it out of space dock. Alright, you're up to 3,400 PCU, you've got 600 to go. Oh yeah. We have Thanks, cleared Kaminsky. space dock. Uh, yeah, the col Lost Colony scenario was fun. Um, I don't think we're going to end up continuing that particular th save ever. But it was fun. Mayhem, but fun. I think the trouble with a scenario like that for the stream was so much writing. Um, great for single player, but not ideal when you've got distractions like Capac and Shack. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's certainly unique. I think I got all the... I almost think the cargo pod takes away from it. Well, it needs something down there. Otherwise, it'd just be a big old weird S shape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm kind of thinking it's. Uh... Oh, Capac's definitely scarier than Shaq. What? Sc well, scarier in what sense? Yeah, Shaq. Shaq usually has intent, other than mayhem. Capac's just pure mayhem. Yeah, hopefully the four of us can get together and do some more stuff. Uh, and hopefully we'll actually meet in person come the time Gamescom comes around. Um, I'm going to suggest you don't use black. What? Black from the inside of the ship will look really, really, really dark once you're lighting it, which kind of doesn't work for a space that humans exist in. Hmm. So you should probably go lighter. Uh, uh so if Capac, he is chaotic good. He, he doesn't ever do anything with the intent to balance the forces of anything. He does it just because it's funny and he knows that people will <laughs> laugh. I, I don't ever really attribute any malicious intent to him. <laughs> I've known him too long to think that he's a, a, even vaguely not good. Uh, you know you've got... Did I put the paintbrush tool on? I don't know. Yeah, you got the painting tool. You got the paint gun so you can paint behind the turrets more easily. Uh, Macho, that's, uh, yeah, what I was talking about. Uh, 
I am definitely going to Gamescom. I've actually already booked my flights to Germany. Um, Capac is still a... Probably? Is that right? Yep. Um, and Wasted will be there. Wasted and I have already talked about when I'm flying in and all that stuff. <laughs> Wilson I says it need more, needs more Capac Orange. Alright, I'm going to leave you to that for a little bit longer and I'm going to go back to the... My Alrighty. hideous deformation of the guppy. Oh yeah, that looks alright. Which I have misplaced. So yeah, there could be some fun that comes out of Gamescom <laughs> with the four of us all there together. Are you thinking that for the guppy eyes and the cargo on top, crew down the bottom? Interesting thought. Yeah. I'll give that a go. In fact, let me just copy in this. Paste it so I'm, if I don't like it, what I end up doing to it. That is kind of not enclosed at all. Oh well. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's not like anybody lives down in the engineering section. Uh, Tuxmel, I would consider a ship that goes around automatically repairing its own stuff. Next to impossible. Yeah. Uh, it would basically be something that would be the equivalent of in game programming your own self driving car. Oh, I'm pretty no, happy with I this design. I have not shown Capac the scissor lift yet. Despite the temptation to launch him from it. What? What? Don't launch me from things. <laughs> but it's so much fun. <laughs> Why would I not? Hello from Quebec. Man, that's far away. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, no, Rothy, I have... Rothic, I have no idea about dead matter. About what? A game called Dead Matter. Oh. Uh, that does feel vaguely familiar, but I don't believe I know anything about it. Uh, it even stuff that follows, so in, um, survival, maybe I had those drones that were flying alongside me as I drove around. Those are a massive performance hit. They cause a huge, huge performance degradation having that sort of thing running. Reminds you of Capax Bob so much. It kind of, yeah, I can see how you, you're drawing that conclusion. 
I can see where that's coming from. Yeah, um, Tuxmelv, a lot of stuff that you might hope to do with autopilot is the stuff that players who've been around for a lot longer will be like, ugh, no. Um, some of it will be possible, but a lot of it will be incredibly frustrating to get working. Unfortunately, the vanilla autopilot is incredibly unreliable. Uh, Wilson and I, yeah, we probably will, um, do some more challenge videos, like, racing things and that sort of stuff, because we both do find it fun. It's just coming up with an idea that we're both happy to do. Really? That's the biggest challenge. I think I'm gonna have to largely gut this ship to then reorganize the interior. I'm just trying to figure out how I could keep these side pieces and do they need extension? I don't think they do, but how am I going to make this a usable space is my challenge. What? Mm. What? I tried to paint something, but I got uh, components instead. Ah. Um, yeah, I know of Starbase. I am not particularly interested in MMOs. I played EVE Online for about a part of five years. And we promised myself when I stopped playing it, I would not play another MMO. They are massive time sinks, and I would worry that I would not make, continue to make content at the rate I do if I started playing something like that. Or at all. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Eisen, I was thinking pop some sort of glass to airtight it on the inside. Like that. Because I do like the vents, they they fit in well with the design. Has that made that too boxy? It's kind of hard to tell with the sun in this position. I guess I should give this thing a name. Oh, right, does it bother making those airlocks? Probably not. Yeah, I don't... Lots of the building stuff in Starbase looks really awesome, but as soon as they said MMO, I went, nah, nah, I, I don't, I don't want to be part of an MMO. I mean, mm. how do you feel about it, Kamek? Yeah, it looks like it's got some cool ideas, but after... <laughs> Spore and No Man's Sky, I've learned to temper my expectations. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, alright. What are you doing? The Serpentine. Oh yeah, I could have the entry down there instead of on top. You may be correct. Isn't that another one would? Let's have a look. Yeah, that gives it more of the similar profile. What I could do... No, that won't work. I might try for these two. Uh, 
Uh, Spore was a letdown because I was following it for like two years before it came out and 90% of the things that they said were going to be in it were not there. Uh, Kamexity, uh, Capac and I play Seven Days to Die over on our other channel. Um, so our shared channel is youtube.com slash zebra monkeys, which I'm going to type in here. That one. Um, uh, where Capac's editing a RimWorld series and I'm, I continue to edit our Seven Days to Die series. We've been doing Seven Days to Die on that channel for quite some time. Uh, we're hoping to play a few more different games this year. Because it would be nice to start incorporating some more stuff. Just for our own sanity as much as anything else. Well, once my new machine's up and running, we'll have a, a few more options. This is true games we can play and stream slash record successfully this is true so which one of these is the original and which one are you working on the one that i'm putting blocks on is the one i'm working on uh-huh um the big fat one is the one i'm working on Uh, we're not going to stream Capac's computer build, uh, but we do have plans to record it. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, streaming <laughs> it would probably be horribly boring. And if Capac manages to do something that he immediately regrets, he probably doesn't want to do it on stream. Uh, or if it catches <laughs> on fire. Um. See you, Matcha. I, I, I'd, I'd much rather have it catch on fire in a video after than live before everybody else. Um, and sand back dust buster. And it'll just be um, uh, lots of driver installs, so it's not going to be super exciting. Right, the actual physical build part yeah, of it. All, all the good parts you'll get to see. Oh yeah, Capac, you're going to have to read up about how to apply thermal paste so you do it correctly. Assuming your thing, assuming we go to that level of showing of what you're doing. Well, everything's, everything's going to have, uh, actually, I think the, I think the cooler I'm going to get comes with some thermal paste. Enzo Matrix, do you really believe that it's ever coming out for scrap mechanics of survival? It's been this long. Now, Capac and I have played some random things recently. We played some more GTA than we ever thought we would <laughs> together on this stuff. Uh, and we've been having some fun with some other stuff. Like as Nab, as Nab mentioned earlier, mm. we've been we've played some Unrailed with Nab and DE. We, yeah, we've been having some fun just trying some different stuff just to give ourselves a bit more variety. Sure, as in, I'll do it twice. <laughs> Since you asked me to send it to you twice, I will send you the blueprint. Uh, all right, Kavak, your ship. Yeah. Show me around. All right. Uh, well, we'll start down the bottom in the engineering section. So it's got a couple of big old cargo containers. Yep. It's, ah, it's pushed me off into space. <laughs> Um, and yeah, why all is your the, gravity sideways? Because uh, I think I'm too close to one of your ships with gravity. Um, yeah. So this is very much vented space. Yep, gotcha. Yeah. So it's got the thrusters and the cargo and the reactor and the battery. Then you climb up the ladder to the main hull. 
Yep, Subnautica is great. I'm gonna, definitely going to play some more on my new PC. I will check Capac's PCU shortly. So, uh, in here, we've got the, the gun that defends against borders. Uh-huh. Uh, we've got a little conference slash dining table. Down uh, in this wing, we've got our bathroom facilities. Uh-huh. And over here, we've got our equipment and sleeping quarters. So, Kavak, hop in your bed. This... Uh, let me go into Spectator. Oh, I have got very... Oh, now my mouse is not sensitive enough. From the depths. Is that the side-scrolling submarine one? No. It's a more complex and not as visually attract... Not particularly visually attractive... Do you like the smell of my boots? Well, you're not supposed to wear your boots to bed. <laughs> uh, and I don't think you can turn the things around. <laughs> um, but that'll have to do. Well, it's why I often... It's why I rarely put two beds side by side. Look, this isn't a luxury cruise. Okay, fair enough. Oh, nice view out the window. Uh, yeah, and then there is the control section over here that's got the gyros, the gravity, the main airlock, mm. and the control room with lots of toggle switches. What are you doing? Painting. Why are you ruining my kitchen? I'm making your kitchen better. It was better blue. Now it's all blinding. No. Well, first of all, you have no lights. So how would it be blinding? I don't... Because the sun's reflecting off it. I feel like I need sunglasses. <sighs> oh, yeah. I should put some lights on the outside. Um, but yes, you... There will be some interior lights needed. Uh... So you got your gravgen and your gyro here. You've got more things. Desk. Okay. It's very open. Yeah. Uh, where can I put some lights? I feel like with how open it is, you need plants. Yeah, the whole none of this is even remotely airtight, so don't 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 stress over that, guys. Yep, that is definitely true. I don't think Capac needs a third color. Oh, well, it's got silver. What are you spraying? Nothing. Oh, we could grade up my airlock. Right up one side of it. Uh, Just we... to break up the overwhelming blue. Uh, is it? You're also. Is it green oh, on the left? What? I'm gonna do something. What are you? That I'm pretty sure I know why you did it this way. But it can be achieved with a much better block. That'll allow you to then decorate more. Now, I wonder if we can make it so that this place at least feels airtight, rather than having obvious gaping holes. Well, it doesn't have any gaping holes in the top part. You mean apart from these windows? What? These windows. Oh, those don't count as closed? <laughs> Not in the slightest. Oh. <laughs> well, they can be replaced with something else. Well, if you put glass in there, they it would. Um, but... 
the other thing is, if you moved the vents one block back, could that work? Um, one block toward the rear of the ship? No. No? Uh, because then you've got space inside that you could glass the inside of the vents. It's fine. I'll come up with something. The other option... Oh no, that doesn't work. Uh, you can't... Can... I don't know that Capac's got it set up so that it... You could glass it over, because I think he's got ramps... Ramp blocks leading to it. It's fine. I fixed it. Um... I think that would look better if you didn't- if you put the tinting on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Because then it won't be a big dark shape. And since you like having lights on your ship, you could use lights as anchor points if you put them down. Say if you put corner lights here. Oh, hang on. Put a corner light there. And then you can anchor it to that. Then you don't need to go over the whole bit of your rest of your grid. You can just oh. have those. Right. Oh, well done. Go oh, you can do that either way now. Three by three inverse. There we go. Aha. See you, Notorious. Yeah. Now it's sort of airtight. Now that's just over the slopey bits, maybe it was better the other way around. What do you reckon? Huh? Do you reckon it's better clear out or clear in? I don't know. I like it like that. Okay, cool. It is fairly subtle now, isn't it? Yes. Still waiting on the disco colors and flashing lights. Uh, well, I put I put a flashing red and, and green light on either side. That's kind of disco. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Kabak, how many batteries do you have on this thing? One. Right. trying to think about is what level of difficulty this ship deserves to be. A 10. Out of what? I don't know. I don't know what the scale is. <laughs> yeah, so there's easy, medium, hard, and boss. And mm -hmm. you've got four, four turrets, but you've also got a fair bit of loot, because you've got three ions in each direction. Um, so I'm just tossing up where the I would add some more turrets to this. I mean, the guns have pretty good, like they've pretty much got coverage in every direction. Yeah, the only place I'd add an additional one would be underneath. I think. No, but even then, if you're approaching directly from beneath, the guns all have line of sight to you. It's true. You are best basically attacking it from one side and just only having two guns to neutralize. Yeah. Go.
Because I'm, if this is going to be easy, it shouldn't have a reactor, probably. Although the guppy does, and in space you've got stuff. So, well, I suppose mean, it's a spaceship. It doesn't really matter. If you want to swap it for a battery? That's fine. Did you see what I did around your um, ladder hole? Uh, nope. Oh, I didn't know you could do them on their own. Yeah, I didn't think you knew that, so that's why I thought I'd do that for you. I figured that's what you were hoping to do. Yeah, that was the general idea. Oh, thanks, Mackel. <laughs> Very generous to both of us, as always, mate. Yep. Too generous. A gentleman and a scholar. Uh, huh. Right, now we crash it into the planet's surface. Oh, jeez. This is weird being affected by something else's gravity as you turn. <laughs> I kind of want to put another turret somewhere in his side. Uh, DJ Poly D, it's pretty much... You stick a gyro on, if it doesn't turn as fast as you want, you stick another one on. If it still doesn't, stick another one. If it still doesn't, stick another one. Uh, there's not really much more complex than that. Kappa, can you please move away from the guppies? Well, I'm trying to equalize the gravity. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty close. Aha! I can stand upright again. Uh, there's, there's not really any complex science to gyros that I've ever applied. Oh, that's some heavy gravities. I suppose I should put these turrets in after Capac has signed off so that I can uh, put them in and he doesn't know where they are. What? How rude. Also kind of fun. On this bit, Eisen, do you mean there's the neck? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. Ugh. Um. I suppose I could. <laughs> yes. Thank you everyone for the Gesundheits, the blessings, and the... Prosit? Yeah, I'm wondering where, what language that's from as to how I should... Um... <laughs> Nab, I would hope I have more manly sneezes than you do. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> So normally I tend to go for a much more compact and like enclosed, like tight fitting space. Capac's gone quite open. I feel like because he's gone so open, the bedroom needs to be fixed. Um... A ship with this much open space is not going to cram the two people on board into beds side by side. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Look, it, it shows the how the company is exploiting its workers. It's if a it's social commentary. If it's exploiting its workers, it wouldn't give them a, basically a hundred meter running track to go down from front to back. Look, that's to keep them fit as they travel through space. A fit employee is a hard-working employee. Yeah. If 
feel like I get what Capac was going for with these um, cargo containers, but I don't think they fit this space. They're a really industrial thing in an otherwise almost Star Trek style design. That's where you gotta load the ammo. Can I show you something different that you might prefer for that? Like, I, I get what you come going for. Oh, now it looks like they're not even going to use the guns at all. Like, they've almost forgotten they exist. Yeah. I think... Hmm. That's right. That one's done. I'm going to start working on a new project. Oh, dear. No, no, Capac. Um, no, you're not. Unless what? it's going to take you only a few minutes. Oh, well, I don't know. I'll just fly around then. No, no. What we're going to do is we're going to save this. And I, in a future stream, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some interior decoration on this and show you what I've done and see if you hate it or prefer it. I hate it. Because you fine. may... You... Do what you want. I've got a blueprint. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, Woodlaw, it's more to make the ships feel... ...like there's some cohesion between all of the different designs. That's why I'm going through each design and doing my own sort of adjustments to it. It's not... Um, ...to say that any particular way is right. It's just having some consistency between the designs... I think is important to make a thing feel like it's a real thing. Alrighty, so, save. I don't know what Kapak was doing, but he's not going to be doing it anymore. That is true. <laughs> uh, it's too late. Yeah, I might, I might try and get Capac to hack some ships in a future stream if we do another one like this. What? To hack them? Yeah, I'll give you one of the... I'll, I've got some stream... Uh, like, I'll take a ship, you take a ship, and or we take the same ship and we both try and do different things to it. Yeah, yeah alright. Or we take two different ships. Uh, this one is the one I want to load. What are we doing now? Hoping that this was loaded in... Multiplayer? Otherwise, I'm going to have to quit and reload again. That's right. I'll open my Google Nest Mini while you do that. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, <laughs> we'll do one of those no camera unboxing videos. Ooh, listen to that plastic. <laughs> huh? I'm in offload, man. Dang it. Grr. Thank you for dying, zebra monkeys. Yeah. What is that? Don't worry about it. Uh, Ooh, it's else. second generation. Charcoal flavored. Box opening ASMR. Yeah. Oh, what a, what a weird wall plug. Yeah, the... Oh, what voltage is this running? The one in the Google Home we've got is the same. Oh, absolute filth. What? It doesn't say on it what voltage it takes. Oh, do you want to make a custom plug or get one from work? No, just it, it bothers me. 14 volts! Maniacs. I disapprove. I Where are you planning on putting that? I'm not even planning on using it huh. until Google adds the ability to make a custom prompt rather than saying, okay, Google or hey, Google all the time. The time is here. See? <laughs> I didn't even ask a question. <laughs> And I thought I'd turn this off. <laughs> Alright, come back. Join the game. Uh. What? 
It says it's turned off. Join the game, where is it? Refresh. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, wait, I'm going to need to give you a faction. See ya, Scots. And see ya, Vizal. Yeah, right. That was the first thing I wanted. I wanted to call it the computer, like they're doing Star Trek. I absolutely refuse to address any device by its silly marketing name. I'm not saying Google at Google things. I'm not saying Xbox at my Xbox. Oh dear. So, Capac, we're going to look at a few of the designs here. And we're going to mercilessly critique them. Uh, no, there are just, there are two designs I can remember off the top of my head that won't be included because they didn't follow the submission guidelines. Um, ah, what the? But will be interesting to look at anyway. So they should be fun. I heard a weird whooshing noise. Well, you're doing ASMR, aren't you? Yeah, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Uh, I'm somewhere yellow. Where, oh, you spawned up the net as well. Uh, oh, what the? You fly up. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a weird way to, to get out. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is the list of ships that I haven't yet um, started processing for the mod. Oh, okay. So if you can see my marker and follow me this way. Uh, I see. Oh, there you are. Keep coming down. And yes, there are so many grids here that my computer is not happy. Yeah, mine's chugging a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I do like the sailing ship one. Um, come to... is it this one? Oh. No, not this one. Where's the party ship? Oh. Okay, also, a uh, fair warning, can't remember whether the party ship has anything that would not be friendly for children what um what wait where are you i've lost you there's too many things um keep coming keep coming you should see me in Ooh, a second i like this spiky gold one this oh. one's got wheels yeah so we're going into the one with wheels okay it is a party bus how do I get inside? I don't know. Uh... And it's at the rear. Well, of course it is. Off you go. You can go first. Okay. Uh... Party ship! Sweet! Um... Party ship entry fee. $20,000! <laughs> Better be a good party ship. Ooh. Ah, right. I see what's happening here. All right, let's move on <laughs> to the next. Ah, hmm. Yes, very not safe for work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Aha, karaoke. Now, I can get on board with some karaoke. All right, come back. What are you going to sing? I don't know. I don't have any music. Or a microphone. Yes, you do. you got a microphone right in front of you. Well, I don't have a microphone <laughs> here. What? <laughs> you won't sing without music? Um, I, I could do my Johnny Cash impersonation. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, do your Johnny Cass impersonation. Not Johnny Cass, not Johnny Cash. <laughs> I know, but you said impersonation. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain. The only thing that's real. <laughs> there we go. Johnny Cash well done, completed. Cabot. Very nicely done. Uh, the oh, the Reactor Club. Oh, oh. Um, sit in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you hear that when you sat down? No. 
as soon as I sit down in this seat, I am blasted with <laughs> noise. Oh, yeah, 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 I hear that. It's very loud, and... What is this red thing? It's a gyro. Well, I, I know that. <laughs> what is it meant to be? <laughs> Everything know. else has been themed. I don't know. This is the reactor club, so there's apparently a gyro in the floor. Because the reactor's over here, so... This seems like a whole different section. Yep. Well, um, yeah, I'm fairly impressed. Uh, it was certainly an experience. Yes. Uh, so one of the rules for the submissions to the mod pack was no custom LCDs because they cause performance problems. Ah. Oh, but and there's, there's a bedroom over here. Oh, let, let's not go into that. Definitely not with a black light. Uh, so, right. the next thing for you to witness, which will not be included in the mod, uh, it's further down this way. Uh, further down you this way. You might be able to spot it from here already. Uh, is it the one wearing a sombrero? <laughs> it is. Ooh, spiky. Mega Capactron. Ah. Yes. Some gentleman with good taste has put this together for us. Yes. Got kind of a long face. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very nice. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. How rude. <laughs> yeah, Dilettante, the Capactron 50,000. All right, Capac, hop in the cockpit. You should be doing driving, not me. Uh, how do you get in? Oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I managed to hit you. <laughs> All right. It's just too perfect. Whoosh. Yep. All right, so... Yeah. Is that it, or are we doing something else over here? Uh, no, that was about it. And that was the other build I wanted to show you that won't be included due to, you know, being a bit silly. But I may... Mm, yeah, I probably won't get a chance to... Oh, jeez, he's going into the planet. I'm very glad I made a new save for this. I'm coming home! <laughs> so, that's probably all we have time for today, Kavak. Let's... Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, we built a spaceship, and you did some things to another spaceship that I didn't even look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't actually show you the interior. Oh well. Whatever. Oh, look at all these rockets. Yes. Uh... I'm sure Capac and I will be back with something soon. I can't remember what our next thing we're doing is, to be perfectly honest. It How was far something. away from the planet am I? A long way. It's going to take you a long time to get down there. Uh, crash into an asteroid instead. That won't take us long. All right. We'll wait for the crash into the asteroid. I use my missiles to range find. <laughs> So after Capac crashes into an asteroid, there'll be um, plenty more to come. I think the next thing on my channel is the is Survival Unlikely. The next thing on Zebra Monkeys will be RimWorld, maybe. Yep. Uh, and then I might be able to convince Capac to play some multiplayer on the Keen servers with me at some point too. Yeah, I'll give it a go. So there's all that. And plenty more to come. Probably a whole lot more crashing. And we'll both see you then. See you later, everybody. Thanks for coming. Oh, no, I made a miss us. Oh, no, no it was reloading. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that was that not, was disappointing. Not as spectacular as I uh, Hang on, as hang, as on, I hang, on hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. 
There we go. That'll work. Oh boy. Splitzy has set up us the bomb. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've turned off block damage. Yes, that is true. All right. I'll see you all next time, See everyone. you next time, everybody. Uh, bye.